All right, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining in today. Uh, as you can see, I'm joined here already by David Steffen. We've got uh, a really jam-packed next hour and a half or so for everyone, so I'm excited to get into it. Um, as you know, we're um, here today, our networking nutritionist group, uh, and David is gonna be talking to us about addressing mental health and clinical practice. Uh, specifically, he's gonna be sharing with us the true hope story, all the groundbreaking science behind it, and also what it means for um, addressing mental health in your clinical practices today. So I'll introduce uh, David just a little bit. I'm sure um, he might have a little more to share, um, but David is the VP of operations for True Hope Canada, and he has a wealth of knowledge about the health food industry in general and True Hope products specifically. Over the past nine years, David has been a keynote speaker at many of the top health shows across Canada. And over the past 19 years, he's worked extensively in the field of mental health and delivered hundreds of presentations at various venues and events on that topic specifically. So he's here today to share uh, some of that knowledge with us. I'm really excited to hear what he has to say specifically for the next 90 minutes or so. Uh, he's gonna be sharing with us how True Hope's products uh, were inspired, the development and research pr uh, process that goes into those products, how they work to support mental health, um, some information about case studies and um, results that have been reported, how other clinicians are using the products in their practices, and then also introducing you to some continuing ed opportunities with TH University. Um, so I won't uh, talk anymore. I know you have a lot to share, David. So thank you for being here and I'll let you take it away. Thank you so much, Veronica. I appreciate that. And <clears throat> thank you everybody for uh, coming on uh, this evening. And um, I hope that uh, by the time that we um, leave this meeting that you're empowered with uh, some significant information in relation uh, specifically to mineral supplementation and how it is the most impactful, uh, and it's validated by science to be so, the most impactful treatment for mental health conditions. And so we're gonna talk about uh, the issue that we're seeing as to why we see a major rise in disease overall, but especially uh, mental health concerns that we've been involved in for the last uh, 26 years uh, with True Hope. <clears throat> and um, we're going to talk about why we're seeing that. We're going to talk about why it's uh, we're at a place in history where it's necessary for supplementation, unfortunately, um, <clears throat> and what we can do about it in the long term, but also what we can do about it in the short term and uh, in providing uh, significant solutions for those that are struggling with mental health conditions or just looking overall to improve uh, their, their brain health and performance in that way. And so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the discovery of True Hope. And, um, and without further ado, I'm going to jump into my presentation and uh, just sit back, relax, enjoy, um, and just, um, you know, feel free to take notes uh, and just kind of, you know, there's going to be an entertainment value to this. So um, there's going to be a lot of story behind all of this. So enjoy. All right. Okay, so <clears throat> many of you have heard the, uh, the saying from Hippocrates. I'm sure you probably heard it in your, your education. Um, <clears throat> Let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Now, what's interesting about this is it's a completely logical statement because when we take a look at what we should be getting in relation to nutrients, um, all the various uh, ingredients that, that would facilitate the, the proper production of hormones and neurotransmitters in the body, uh, the proper formation of tissue in the body, it should all be coming from our food. And so the question has to be asked, I mean, this was stated over 2,400 years ago. Why is it that food is no longer playing the role of medicine? And why is it that as a society, we're seeking out medicine um, generally in the form of petroleum-based uh, medications that are foreign to our bodies? Why have we found ourselves in that situation where we are seeking for an alternative compared to what food should be delivering. And really what it all comes down to is over the last 150 years, what's taken place within the, the agricultural industry is we've seen the, the model of quantity over quality being applied to the point where back in 1936, it was identified that there was a major rise in disease already taking place then. And what was identified is that it was due to the mineral deficiency 
because they'd been, be, been stripping out the soils and not putting the nutrients back into the soils. This is back in 1936 and it actually became the topic of a Senate hearing. And some of you may be uh, aware of that Senate hearing. It was a famous Senate hearing and you can find it in uh, Senate document 264 from 1936, where it's identified the role of minerals within the human body and the impact that they have. And that um, a deficiency in just one simple mineral can actually result in a major disease within the human body. And so <clears throat> the problem wasn't fixed. And so what we see today is that there's over a 50% reduction in the mineral content found within the soils today compared to over 100 years ago. But it gets even worse than that because it's not a 50% reduction in the mineral content found within the foods. Dr. Anne-Marie Meyer, a researcher out of the UK who had actually done a lot of the soil uh, studies to identify that there was an over 50% reduction in mineral content, what her and her team decided to do in 1997 was analyze 20 common fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables that many of us would be eating on a daily basis. And what they found between the analysis from 1947 to 1997, so over that 50 year period, is that many of those fruits and vegetables were lacking key minerals to the degree of over 80%. So there's an over 80% reduction. So in order to get the same level of cer certain nutrients out of those foods, you'd have to eat five times the amount that you would have had to have 50 years previous. Now, there's further studies to substantiate that even, you know, you make a healthy choice and you're, you're eating a spinach salad, that the common analysis of those ingredients found within a spinach salad would indicate that you would have to eat about six and a half times the amount that your great grandparents would have had to have eaten in order to get the same nutrient values. So even though we've got this incredible supply chain that provides us fresh fruits and vegetables all year round, unlike our ancestors had. Today, what we're seeing is that we're literally starving for nutrition, even though we have this overabundance of food available to us at any given time. And so what impact would this have on the body? And you've learned this within um, <clears throat> the education system or within not the education system. You won't ever learn that in the education system. They'll never empower you with that information. Um, but within uh, your education as a holistic nutritionist, um, you would have learned about this. If we take a look at the skeletal system, the impact that a deficiency in minerals like calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, uh, boron uh, would have, you'd obviously, uh, you know, determine that you probably end up with a case of osteoporosis if you were deficient in those minerals. Well, if we take a look at uh, the thyroid, many times we get myopic on that and think, well, iodine, but it's not just iodine. You also need adequate levels of magnesium and selenium, as well as molybdenum, in order to facilitate the proper assimilation of iodine and uh, optimizing the iodine pathway so that the iodine will actually do its job. So there's a lot of synergy involved there. If we were to take a look at the very production of insulin, and so we're talking about type one diabetes here, you need adequate levels of chromium, vanadium, potassium, selenium, magnesium, and zinc. So six key minerals. If you're lacking any one of those, the production of insulin won't take place appropriately. And so the same thing goes, and many of you have probably learned this, that if you get your omega-3 fatty acids from vegetable sources, many people aren't able to convert that ALA into DHA, DPA, and, D, or, and, and EPA, sorry. So those three others. And the DHA we know is, is uh, very good for cognition. And the EPA is there to assist with the, the cardiovascular system. Well, the interesting thing is, is many people aren't asking the question as to why are we not converting ALA from hemp, chia, flax, camelina? Why aren't we converting that into the other forms of omega-3 fatty acids that we absolutely need? And the reason being is because it requires magnesium, zinc, vitamin B3 and B6 in order to adequately convert the ALA into the DHA, DPA and EPA. And so your cardiovascular system is also dependent on having key nutrients available to facilitate the conversion of things that would help protect the cardiovascular system. Well, when we take a look at mental health, it's no different. The production of key neurotransmitters such as dopamine and um, norepinephrine, uh, which converts into epinephrine, as well as um, 5-HTP that converts into serotonin, which will convert into melatonin. We have a necessity of key nutrients, which are considered coenzyme factors, what they do is they facilitate the enzyme reaction 
that converts the amino acid into the various neurotransmitters. And the same thing goes with hormones as well. The conversion of hormones from neurotransmitters or cholesterol requires these coenzyme factors. And so the very production of serotonin requires iron, methyl tetrahydrofolate, and that's a whole nother um, discussion there as to what it requires in order to take folic acid or folate and convert it into methyl tetrahydrofolate. That's a whole nother pathway requiring other nutrients as well. And so you require iron, methyl tetrahydrofolate, vitamin C, D, and vitamin B3 in order to facilitate the conversion of tryptophan into 5-hydroxytryptophan. And then fortunately, the conversion from 5-hydroxytryptophan hydro to serotonin is a little bit easier because all it requires is P5P or pyridoxine 5-phosphate, which is simply just activated form of vitamin B6, which is another um, uh, thing as to how did we activate that vitamin B6 in our body. And that's, a, that's another set of nutrients there as well. So our bodies absolutely require four main classifications of nutrients in order to facilitate all of these enzyme reactions and conversions in the body and the very formation of tissues and, and all the signaling um, within the body. And what that is, is vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and omega fatty acids. And those four work in synergy. So think about it like if you're sitting on a chair right now, it's like a four-legged chair. And in order for that chair to work well, you need all four legs intact. And so when we see a deficiency in one set of nutrients, what we find is that the vitamins will no longer work and do the job that they're supposed to because they don't have the minerals to work with, or the amino acids won't be able to convert into various hormones or neurotransmitters or be produced into muscle tissue and all that, because you won't have these enzyme reactions taking place. And so it's very important that you have all four classifications of nutrients there to work in synergy. And unfortunately, what we are seeing today is due to modern agriculture is we've seen a major depletion in the mineral content within our foods, wherein even though uh, we have all this fresh food available to us, we're literally starving for nutrients because we're not eating five to eight times the amount that our great grandparents did in order to get the same nutrients that they would have gotten out of their food. So the long-term solution is we correct agriculture. We go back to the simplistic life. Um, I, I live on a small farm here and that's exactly what we're doing. I spread uh, 4,000 pounds of composted mineral onto my property two years ago. Um, and I constantly apply humic and fulvic acid um, to everything. I've blanketed everything in wood chips so that they eventually break down, they hold in the moisture. And so we're going back to that old way where now the food that I'll be producing will be my medicine. But for the time being, until I'm up and running fully, I require for my own mental well-being, and we're going to learn a little bit about this in relation to my family story, I require for my own mental well-being, Empower Plus, the minerals found in there, in order to ensure that I'm able to operate the way that I'm supposed to and feel great about life and uh, be able to get the things done that I want to get done and uh, be able to come to the, uh, the table and, and uh, you know, have an offering for my family and be the father and husband that, that I need to be, as well as uh, just a decent over, uh, individual overall. And so I rely on those minerals to ensure that my mood is good and that I'm healthy and strong. So 26 years ago, <clears throat> True Hope, the discovery of Empower Plus began to take place. And so the story of True Hope isn't one wherein we identified a need in the marketplace and saw a major rise in disease taking place. And my father, you know, looking at it and saying, hey, look, we've got the, the knowledge of nutrition here. Let's move forward with this. And, you know, we can make a lot of money doing this and we can help a lot of people. It didn't um, ever have that approach. In fact, the story of True Hope is a story that is filled with a significant amount of loss and trauma and tragedy, but also a great deal of victory and overcoming. And it's really a beautiful story that's a victory for um, people around the world. Over 100,000 people have had their lives significantly transformed due to the discoveries made um, that are a part of True Hope. And so it really all began with my mother and even a generation back with my grandfather. You see, <clears throat> my mother grew up in a situation that was volatile. There was a lot of mental health uh, concerns within the home, within her siblings, as well as her father and mother, but especially her father. And ultimately, it led to him taking his life 
five years before I was born. And so here's my family. Here's, here's my siblings. Here's my mother and my father here. I'm the one on the far left there. I don't know if I look the same today or not. Uh, I, I think I have a little bit more facial hair or whatnot. But anyways, <clears throat> so that's me and the suspenders with the little bow tie there. And so <clears throat> my mother came out of the situation. And even though it had been a volatile situation, a situation that nobody should have really been growing up in, but that's just the way, way it is. That's the way it was. And my, my grandfather, not knowing where to turn for help because of the stigma surrounding mental illness at that time, my mother growing up in the situation ended up getting out of the house a little bit earlier than normal. And at the age of 17, actually married my 18-year-old father. And um, as you can see, she had an absolute love for life, even though she'd come out of the situation. And eventually there was nine of us running around and that wasn't enough. She actually um, convinced my father to adopt one more. And, and so there's actually a, a 10th sibling um, not present in this picture. And so <clears throat> life was always a bit rowdy. Um, we were always the, uh, the kind of the exciting family in the neighborhood. Um, we didn't know why everyone else was boring, but it's because they weren't suffering with the, the mental health conditions that we were suffering with. And we were just volatile and, and, and always fighting and, and all that type of stuff. But um, there was a lot of fun involved with it as well. And my mom <clears throat> um, is an absolute beautiful woman, but she struggled with the same mental health concerns that her um, father did. And after 10 years of having high highs and low lows, some days not getting out of bed till the afternoon because of how depressed she was, and some days not going to bed till two, three, four in the morning because of how manic she was, and she would just keep on taking on projects. And so after 10 years of going through this roller coaster of bipolar is what it was identified to be with rapid cycling, she finally went in January of 1994 to the doctor to get some help. And she received a prescription for Prozac, an SSRI medication, a, a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. One of the new classes of medications that was supposed to be a really a blockbuster medication that would change the face of mental illness is what the promise was. And unfortunately, uh, what we've come to see is that those medications have not delivered on that promise at all. And unfortunately, there was also a lot of withheld evidence in relation to the initial studies that took place on those medications. Evidence like the fact that um, <clears throat> Prozac would actually increase the risk of suicide uh, in many individuals by anywhere from two to eight times. And my mother got on this medication and within three weeks of her getting on the medication, she ended up taking her own life, leaving behind nine children who were all struggling in one way or another with their own mental health conditions. And two of my siblings having it extremely bad and that being Joseph and Autumn. Joseph is the brother just older than me, and at the peak of his illness, he was 15 years old. He was homicidal, suicidal, and uh, stockpiling weapons. He was in tr uh, trouble with the police. He actually had char weapons charges against him. He was constantly in and out of the principal's office, and he was basically the next schoolyard shooting waiting to happen. Extremely violent, extremely volatile. And then there was Autumn. <clears throat> Autumn was actually even a little worse. She was on a cocktail of five medications, Haldol, Rivitrol, Ativan, Cogentin, and Respiridol. And at best, she was left in a state of sedation um, and sometimes even confined to a wheelchair. But <clears throat> when she wasn't in the psych ward, which was really quite often, she had to be on 24-hour supervision because she was 22 years old at the time, had a three-year-old son, married, but she would obsess about killing herself and her son thinking that that was somehow appropriate. And so <clears throat> here's my father left in this extreme predicament where he saw what took place with his father-in-law. He saw what happened with his wife of 22 years. And he saw that his children were going down the exact same path that their mother and grandfather had gone down. And that the medications that they're on weren't changing things. And so my father left in this situation, decided to begin to look for alternative solutions to um, the medicines. And this was only after he had exhausted everything available to him within the medical system. In fact, at one point in time, he met with the head psychiatrist of the Foothills Hospital in Calgary, Alberta, and just laid it all out and said, look, if we don't have, you know, if things don't change, like Joe will never have a, a chance at living a normal life. He'll never have a chance of having a family. He'll never be able to have kids. He won't be able to have long lasting relationships. Um, he'll never be able to pursue a career. And so he's laying all this out. And she just said, Mr. Steph, and <clears throat> You need to face the reality that this is as good as it's going to get. And she opened up the DSM-4, opened up the bipolar disorder, and read that it was a recurrent disorder. She said, Mr. Stefan, do you know what that means? He said, no. 
she said, it means that these disorders do not go away. And often in time, they get worse. You need to face the reality that someday you may have to plan more funerals. And he says like a shotgun going off in his ears. Any hope that he'd had at that point in time uh, was completely diffused. But it's exactly what he needed to hear to incite the change, to have him look elsewhere, to have him look in the right direction for his children. Because at that point in time, he'd been putting all his trust in the medical system in relation to the treatment of these severe mental health conditions. And so what he began to do, this was in early 1995 when he'd had this meeting, he began to talk to people in the community, asking what they knew about mental illness, heard a lot of stories. Never once did he hear a story of recovery, but he did hear a lot of stories. And a lot of people had different things to recommend. Hey, maybe th this will work. You know, maybe this magnetic therapy will work. Hey, maybe the Tahitian noni juice will work. Um, and so there was all sorts of things coming in and out of the house, copious amounts of flax oil that my brother was taking, uh, the Tahitian noni juice, which uh, was really quite gross because after he stopped taking it, because it didn't quite work for him, even though it's good for you, but it didn't correct the mental health condition. Um, I ended up trying it um, myself. And uh, anyways, so there's all sorts of these things that Joseph was trying and it wasn't working. They were good things, but they weren't working. They weren't, uh, they weren't potent enough. They weren't you know, acute uh, or dealing with the acute situation that he was dealing with. And so finally, by mid-1995, my father just came to the realization that there was no known answer for mental illness. And so what he began to do out of desperation, saying to himself, you know, if there truly is a God, and he always believed there was a God, but he said, if there truly is a God, God knows the answer and God wouldn't want his children to suffer in this way. And so what he began to do is spend a lot of time in meditation and prayer and a lot of fasting seeking for some kind of divine inspiration that would ultimately lead to the restoration of his family. Now, nothing miraculous happened overnight. There was, he didn't wake up in the middle of the night and there's some writing on the wall or anything like that. But what was interesting is as he persistently did this over months out of desperation, because he couldn't bear to lose another, another family member, he'd already suffered way too much loss. So what he found though, is that bits and pieces of information began to come to his life. And I'm not sure if any of you have heard of uh, the, the tape set, uh, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, um, but it's largely about nutrition and how there's all this scientific evidence that's being discovered on nutrition and the impact that it has in the reduction of disease and how doctors aren't being uh, taught this. Um, and so anyways, I remember as, as a young boy um, at the age of uh, 12, listening to these tape sets as we're driving down um, the highway. And, uh, you know, at that time, I, I didn't value them. And I thought they were really quite boring. Uh, but fortunately, I think some of that information has still uh, been retained within my mind at this point in time, it kind of burns in. And so it's valuable information. But this is the type of stuff that began to come into, into um, his hands. Now, <clears throat> what was interesting is it all came to a climax in November of 1995, when as a property manager over 26 large buildings in Southern Alberta, he's walking down the hallway one day with a colleague talking about replacing carpets. And he's overcome with this impression. You need to tell your, your uh, colleague, David Hardy here, about what's going on at home. And, you know, it's completely ir irrelevant information. It had nothing to do with replacing carpets, had nothing to do with the upkeep and maintenance of this large building. But my father <clears throat> broke down it and just laid it all out and, and ended off the conversation with if things don't change, we'll have no choice but to take Joseph to the, the psych ward because everybody's fearing for their lives. And his colleague had something really interesting to say. He said, you know, Tony, <clears throat> I've never dealt with mental illness. I have a large family like yours, but they're all, they're all fine. They're all well. My wife, she's fine. So I've I can't relate to you in that way. He says, however, I spent over 20 years in the animal feed industry, formulating feed for hogs across Western Canada and the Western United States. And we discovered <clears throat> an issue called ear and tail biting syndrome that would rise up in certain herds where the, the hogs would get irritable with each other and they'd bite chunks of their ears and tails off each other. And if you didn't pen them away from each other, they'd actually kill each other. So we're talking, if, if this was a human, they'd receive a diagnosis of, of hyper irritability um, with homicidal ideations, um, with extreme violent tendencies, right? <clears throat> uh, probably even some psychoses in there. And so anyways, uh, he said, what we learned in the animal feed industry is that we could completely eradicate this disorder simply by putting the proper nutrition into their feed. 
And now my father had already tried a bunch of things up to this point, but he says in that moment, it's like a light bulb flipped on. Absolutely knew is the answer. Um, and it's a good thing that he had that spiritual confirmation because they went down to a health food store. They picked up all of these different vitamin and mineral supplements. They put Joseph on them immediately. So this is November of 1995 and it didn't work. But my father, knowing it was the answer, continued on with it. And finally, by January 18th of 1996, four different products arrived from the U.S., four different unique products. And the reason why they were unique wasn't based on the ingredients that were in them. It was based on what was taking place to the ingredients that were in them. One, the ingredients were balanced. The minerals were in the proper balance. And two, the minerals were going through a process, either a chelation process or they were being made into colloidal minerals that allowed for the proper assimilation, the absorption of those minerals into the body so that those minerals could actually do their job. Because up to this point, mineral supplementation had largely been overlooked um, in relation to its reduction in disease and its ability to treat disease because the minerals that people were consuming were not in the proper form that they would actually do anything within the human body. They weren't in the same form that you'd get out of your food and so four different products, a colloidal mineral supplement, a calcium, magnesium, phosphorus supplement, a multivitamin and grapeseed extract. So these are the four products that Joseph began to use. And within five days of taking them, Joseph said it's like a fog lifted and he can now see what was right and wrong. And so <clears throat> the next thing was, was to get autumn onto them. Now over 30 days, Joseph would no, no longer receive a diagnosis for bipolar. He wasn't hundred percent well by, by any means but he was now operating in the normal range, normal good days, normal bad days. And as time went on, he just got better and better and better. So my father phones Autumn and is all excited about it because it, it worked so quickly for Joe. Within five days, he's now starting to see the effect of his behaviors and he's starting to correct them. And so he phones up Autumn, who lived five hours north of us and uh, said, hey, look, we've got a solution here. It worked for Joe, it's gonna work for you. And she just wasn't willing to do it. She was working with a psychiatrist and just thought my dad was a little bit crazy that some, all, all of a sudden he would have a solution for her that her psychiatrist didn't have. And so she wasn't willing to do it. And there's a whole long story to that. And if, if, you're, if you're curious about that, um, there's a full-length documentary that Discover, uh, the Discovery Health Channel actually did on us back in 2002. And so she tells her story in greater detail there. Or <clears throat> there's also this, which we're going to talk about a little bit later on. It's a book that she wrote um, where she articulates that as well. Or there is a podcast that uh, our good friend Simon, uh, who works with True Hope, um, also uh, uh, did with her where she articulates her story there. But anyways, <clears throat> for the sake of time, I'm not going to get into too much detail. But something, you know, a month later, she ended up having to get onto these supplements due to circumstances. And she got on them. Her husband was absolutely livid. And five days later, he came to get her and she was already beginning to turn into a uh, much different woman. She was beginning to kind of come out of that shell of psychosis and delusion and able to articulate in a way that was logical and rational. And just based on, on those changes, the fact that she'd showed up one day with hallucinations and five days later, she has no hallucinations. Um, they decided as a, as a married couple to continue on her husband supporting her through the process within 45 days, she was off of all of her medications and she thought she was hundred percent better. She wasn't, uh, she was not hundred percent well, but she was now operating in the normal range. And as time went on, she became better and better and more stable, but the initial, uh, month, month and a half, um, brought about a significant amount of correction and healing, uh, wherein she no longer required 24 hour supervision. She was going and grocery shopping on her own with her three-year-old son. And she was able to take care of her three-year-old son. She was able to take care of things around the house. She was able to start up her own little side businesses. She was able to do what she wanted to do and begin to pursue her dreams and live life the way that it should have been lived. And realistically, that should have been the end of the story. My father's prayers have been answered. His family was receiving the restoration that he had so desperately pleaded for. The dynamics of the relationships in the home were beginning to change. Everybody was beginning to view Joseph differently. Um, the dynamics in the relationship between uh, my older sister and her husband were changing, where she was no longer being viewed as a care patient that required 24-hour supervision, but as an equal partner in the marriage uh, who actually had a voice that, uh, that was rational, that could bring some wisdom 
uh, to, uh, to the table. And so everything was changing. And my father had a great job at the time. And life was just good. And it was only getting better. But growing up in a community of 3,500 people and everybody knowing, or almost everybody, knowing who Joe was and knowing the trouble that he was, people began to ask my father questions when they saw the, the transformation in him. And it wasn't just a transformation in relation to his behavior. It was a transformation in relation to his very countenance, the energy that he carried with him, the fact that he was sociable, approachable. Before, you, you just sense it. You wouldn't want to approach him. Now, all of a sudden, people are recognizing him as more of a big teddy bear, in a sense, rather than this, you know, porcupine, this agitated individual that uh, you just don't want to mess with. And so people began to ask my father the questions, what have you done with him? You know, he's a completely different person. And my father would tell him. And so people were like, hey, do you think this would work with my son with ADHD? Or do you think it would work with my wife with depression? Or, and then also the principals, you know, now consulting with my father, rather than phoning my father to say, hey, Joe's in trouble again. Now he's consulting with my father saying, hey, we have this other troubled student. Do you think that what you're doing would work for them? Do you want to consult with their, his parents and help him out too, right? So all of a sudden, all of this is taking place in this small community. And it's beginning to spread like wildfire because it was working on all sorts of mental health conditions. Turns out that the boxes that we put mental health conditions in, ADHD over here, you know, bipolar, psychosis, um, you know, or we have the whole autistic spectrum over here. Turns out that the nutrition didn't respect the boxes that we had put those in, and it was just working to correct all of those conditions. And so when, you know, things really began to turn, especially when, you know, there's a woman who lived a block down from us and almost nobody knew who she was. And the reason why is because she was struggling with such severe schizophrenia and agoraphobia that the only time she would come out of her house was to go to her doctor's appointments. And all of a sudden now you know, there's this elderly woman in her 60s that almost nobody even knew who she was. They all knew who her husband was because he was out and about doing what he needed to be doing, but nobody knew who she was. And all of a sudden she's walking around and she's socializing with people during the summer months and, and people are seeing this radical transformation. And so it began to spread like wildfire. My father looked at this and said, wow, think of all the families. Think of all the people that could be blessed the way that my family has been blessed. We need to get us into the hands of doctors. So that they can, you know, it can go mainstream. And so him and, and David Hardy um, decided in their naivety, really thinking that the doctors would just accept it, that it would be accepted into the medical system based on the fact that it was working. They went and approached Dr. Brian Kolb, a world-renowned neuroscientist out of the University of Lethbridge. Now, the reason why he's world renowned, and this is kind of another interesting as I digress over here, and we'll, we'll loop back to it a little bit later on in the presentation. The reason why he's world renowned is that he discovered that brain cell regeneration can take place. So many times, like e even within, you know, um, I'm not sure where you're at in relation to the education of a holistic nutritionist. Um, but my understanding is, is that what, you, what you'll learn is that if there's a damaged area of the brain, that the brain can create new pathways around the damaged area. Well, it goes beyond that. And this is going to get quite fantastic as we get deeper into this a little bit later on. But what he discovered is that brain cell regeneration could actually take place with the use of 22 vitamins and minerals that he had applied to these rats that he had literally cut chunks of their brains out and he applied this. And so he became a world-renowned neuroscientist because he disproved the theory that once you have brain damage, the damage is done and there's nothing you can do about it. He just proved that. And this is back in the 90s. And you're probably wondering, why haven't we heard about this, right? Why hasn't this been brought into the, the, the education system, right? Why aren't we seeing this in textbooks? We'll get into that a little bit later on because it gets a little bit deeper. So anyways, they go and approach him and say, hey, look, this is what we're finding. Do you think you could study this? And he said, no. I don't do those kinds of studies, but Dr. Bonnie Kaplan out of the University of Calgary does those kinds of studies. So they went to approach her and she just said, you know, <clears throat> I've already dealt with all the flakes in the eighties regarding nutrition. I don't have the time to waste. So she wouldn't meet with my father and she wouldn't meet with David Hardy. And so it wouldn't be for another few months later because Dr. Brian Kolb had supplied my father and David Hardy with all the symptom evaluation forms that the participants would typically use within a study to fill out. And so these people were filling out these symptom evaluation forms to show the reduction in their symptoms as they're consuming these four different nutritional products. And so a couple months later, my father and David Hardy supply them back to uh, Dr. Brian Kolb 
and he sends them over to Bonnie Kaplan. And Bonnie Kaplan looks at this and says, this is either complete snake oil or we're actually onto a potential medical breakthrough here. So she sat down with David Hardy and my father and my older sister, Autumn, interviewed them all and thought maybe there is something to this. So she started a small study with those four different nutritional products. And she saw the same thing, a rapid um, regression in the symptoms, a rapid improvement in the quality of life of those individuals that were taking them to the point that she actually had to begin reducing their medications because they were becoming over-medicated. Those medications had no role anymore in, in trying to produce various neurotransmitters to regulate their mood because now they were producing the neurotransmitters appropriately at the appropriate rate. And so if they stayed on the medications, they'd actually become symptomatic in a different way, which wasn't good. And so she got excited about this. And we were getting excited about it. My father was looking at us and saying, well, you know, finally, after all, you know, these few years of working hard towards this, it looks like, you know, this is becoming scientifically validated. It's going to get into the hands of the doctors and it's going to be a blessing for so many people. However, halfway throughout the study, everybody's symptoms began to return. But it wasn't just within the study. It was also within our community and within our own home. And so the University of Calgary did an analysis on the four different products. And what they found is that the colloidal mineral supplement, the levels of minerals varied depending upon the batch. So <clears throat> it was a variable product in itself, inconsistent, and you can't study an inconsistent, or an inconsistent product or a variable. Um, and so <clears throat> the study was shut down and we were left looking for a replacement because it was no longer to the same quality that it had once been. And after a year of having various products come in and out of the house, my father and David Hardy realized that they had to make their own all-in-one supplement that was actually going to produce the results that they were looking for, that they could ensure that the quality was there and that they could simplify it rather than having to consume copious amounts of four different products. People could just take one specific product and have it work. And so once again, after a great deal of research, a great deal of, and at this time, they're not even really going online for the research. This is back, you know, in the late nineties, they're actually going to the university libraries and they're scouring through um, the, the books available there on, in relation to nutrition and the studies that have been done on various vitamins and minerals and the role that they play in mental health. And so after a great deal of studying and research, as well as a great deal of prayer, seeking for inspiration to make sure they get it right, uh, because there's so much hinging on this. Uh, what came out of it was Empower Plus, and it worked, and it worked right off the bat, which was interesting. It didn't even require fine tuning, which was um, a shocker to them as, um, because they they figured, you know, it's one of those things. You you make a recipe, and you have to fine tune it, and you have to work it out over time. They made it, they produced it, and it worked. They teamed up with a great company that had an awesome process in relation to their chelation technology at the time, and so now <clears throat> um, they brought forward this really just a broad spectrum multivitamin mineral micronutrient supplement consisting of 36 ingredients, 16 minerals being chelated so that they were actually bioavailable and making sure that those minerals were in the proper balance. Because what was discovered is that the calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus had to be in the proper balance, not just for bone health, but just for overall health, including mental health, as well as the copper and zinc had to be in the proper balance. Otherwise you can actually create anxiety issues if you overdo the zinc, you got to keep it at a 10 to one ratio, 10 zinc to one copper. And that still applies to today. Even if you're, you're trying to boost your immune system, copper is also good for your immune system. So you should be maintaining that balance and not isolating the zinc alone and overdoing it. Otherwise you can actually create agitation and anxiety uh, in, in yourself or individuals. So the minerals were in the proper balance and they were in such a form that they were absorbable. 14 vitamins, three amino acids and three antioxidants. So a very broad spectrum, comprehensive blend of, of nutrients. And they brought it out and it worked right off the bat. <clears throat> now, you see that it's a much different bottle than, than probably what you've been accustomed to there. Much larger bottle too, about four times the size. And that wasn't because they were trying to give a family pack or a value pack right off the bat. <clears throat> it's because even though by today's standards, this is a high quality multivitamin, proper balance, uh, it's going through a chelation process. Those minerals are being uh, attached to organic molecules so the body can actually take them. Individuals who are suffering at this point in time, back in 1998, with acute mental health conditions, had to take up to 48 capsules per day in order to correct 
the, that situation. And so <clears throat> we weren't satisfied with that. But what's interesting is you'd think that'd be a big enough deterrent that nobody would take it. Uh-uh. There were so many people that were absolutely excited for two reasons. One, they were cutting off the medications and getting rid of those side effects. Two, they were getting their lives back. They were actually feeling motivated and driven to do what they wanted to do in life. And they had the clarity of mind to be able to do it, to make clear and concise decisions rather than foolish, unwise decisions that unfortunately are quite synonymous with mental health conditions. And so it was amazing how it continued to grow by word of mouth at this point in time. And so we weren't, though, um, satisfied with the fact that people had to take that many capsules, even though sales were growing, people were getting the help they were looking for. And so what happened was in the year 2000, we changed the chelation technology. We changed the chelating agent. And simply by doing so, it improved the absorbability to the point that people could take the exact same formula and only take 32 capsules per day and get the same therapeutic effects that they would have once got from 48 capsules per day. But then in 2001, we began something that was quite a novel process at that point in time. We began to micronize those minerals. And by simply doing so, we got it down to 18 capsules per day. So now micronized and chelated, and now you're taking way less than half the amount that you once would have had to have, and you're getting the same therapeutic results from it. In 2005, we developed our own chelation technology, got down to 15 capsules per day. In 2013, we further improved on that, that chelation technology and got down to eight to 12 capsules per day, same formula, same ingredients, same label, and yet it's producing the same therapeutic results by taking that much. In 2020, we further improved on that chelation and micronization technology to the point that now somebody can take six to eight capsules per day. In many instances, one eighth of the amount that they would have once had to take and they get the same therapeutic results from it. And the reason being is all we did is we mimicked what was happening within nature under ideal situations before, and I didn't touch on this earlier and I should have, before the introduction of synthetic herbicides, pesticides, and fungicides, because what that will do, and this is where the discrepancy lies, 50% reduction in mineral content within the soil, and yet we're not seeing a 50% reduction of mineral content in the foods. We're seeing a much greater reduction of mineral content. And the reason being is when you spray things like glyphosate, what it does is it binds up to the minerals. It acts as a chelating agent and prevents the uptake of those minerals into the plants, but also it kills off the bacteria culture and the fungi that would facilitate the breakdown and chelation of those minerals that would naturally take place in healthy soil that would facilitate the uptake of those minerals into the plants. You see, there's a major disconnect here. We should be looking at soil in the same way that we look at our gut. The soil does the same thing that our gut does. It breaks things down and allows it to be uptaken into the plants. And so if we, we know what the effect would be if we were to um, overuse antibiotics, we know that we wouldn't be breaking down or, or digesting our food appropriately anymore. We know that we become much more nutrient deficient, but the same thing is being done within the soil on, on a mass scale, especially in relation to glyphosate, because its first patent was actually as an antibiotic, not as a herbicide. It kills everything, including us. So <clears throat> all we did was mimic what was happening in ideal conditions where the soil hadn't been adulterated with all of this stuff. And so we did that in a laboratory setting, and that's how we got it to the point that now you can take this much and have that kind of therapeutic effect because by the time we're done processing those minerals, they're in the proper form that your body can recognize and actually utilize fully. So it was brought back to Dr. Bonnie Kaplan after it was produced because she'd been studying those four other products initially. She started a small study. And before the study was even completed, she actually published her preliminary results because of how incredible those results were. And it got a lot of attention. In fact, it actually ended up on national news a long time ago, <clears throat> back in October of 2000. And I'll show you a bit of that news clip here um, and then cut it a little bit short and we'll continue on just for the sake of time. And supplements help people suffering with a troubling mental disorder. CTV's Avis Favreau has an exclusive report you won't want to miss. 
Watch CBBUs tonight at 11. In medical news tonight, there is new reason for optimism for sufferers of bipolar disorder, a condition that causes manic depression and a condition that affects hundreds of thousands of Canadians. According to findings of a small study presented today to the Canadian Psychiatric Association, a combination of vitamins and minerals may alleviate the disorder's debilitating symptoms. CTV's medical specialist, Avis Favreau, reports. Bipolar illness ran through Tony Steffen's family. His wife, Debbie, committed suicide. His son and daughter were also ill and on drugs that didn't work. All right. So this airs on national television. And at one point in the interview, Dr. Bonnie Kaplan states, any medication that ever had this effect would catch a lot of people's attention. What she was alluding to was the, the fact that the preliminary results were showing that the Empower Plus was over three times more effective than the standard antidepressants. And so it did catch a lot of attention. We had, Our phones were ringing off the hook the very next day, but it wasn't just from people that were interested in receiving help, in coming off their medications, in getting their lives back. You see, the very next day, Health Canada shows up on the scenes. And they phone my dad and they, they notify him. They say, are you aware that you're in contravention of Section 3.1 and 3.2 of the Food and Drugs Act in order to help somebody with bipolar disorder? You require a drug identification number on your supplements? And he said, no, I wasn't aware. You know, sign me up, right? How do I get one? And so he attempted to jump through every hoop that Health Canada threw at him, only to realize that they weren't going to give him that drug, drug identification number on the Empower Plus. Now, what was interesting here is that Health Canada, the feds, were at odds with the Alberta government because at that point in time, the Alberta government was actually funding over half a million dollars into a double-blind placebo-controlled trial on the Empower Plus to further substantiate the effects of it to see if it was something that they could put into the formulary. So the Alberta government was actually considering making it available to those who lived in Alberta and have it covered by healthcare. And the reason why is because the Alberta government was recognizing, and and they were very progressive at that time, in trying to reduce costs and keep us out of debt. We were the only province that was out of debt at that point in time. And so they were interested in that because, one, it would reduce the healthcare costs significantly. You would see a lot less hospital admissions. You'd see a lot less psych ward admissions, as well as um, it was significantly less expensive to administer it compared to psychiatric medications. But secondly, there is also a tax revenue benefit because now you have people that weren't contributing members of society who were debilitated on age, on, on uh, disability. And all of a sudden now they're, they're going back to work or they're going back to school and they're pursuing careers. And so the Alberta government was actually funding it to a large extent there, but Health Canada came in and they said, they notified my father, you know, that you're, you're out of order here. And we're also shutting down all of the studies. Now, what was interesting about this is that in order to get that drug drug identification number, you actually needed scientific validation to support any claims that would be made on the product. But all of that had just been undermined by Health Canada as they shut down all studies that were taking place in Canada at that point in time. And so my father realized that there was an agenda there. And at one point in time, when he was meeting with the Health Canada agents, they said, you know, Mr. Steffen, Perhaps, you know, if you want to continue doing what you're doing, perhaps you just want to move south of the border. You know, basically indicating that Canadians weren't deserving of a Canadian discovery that could largely impact their, their lives in a very uh, meaningful way. And so it was at that point in time that my father said, you know what, <clears throat> I don't need the permission of some bureaucrat in Ottawa to tell me whether or not I can bless the lives of others like my life and my family has been blessed. And so he just outright disobeyed him. And he continued to provide these products to those who, who were in need of them. And Health Canada didn't like that. So eventually it came in with an RCMP SWAT team and they raided us in 2003. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, three days later, we're up and running. It appeared to be nothing more than a scare tactic. Unfortunately, at that point in time, they also shut it down at the border, preventing the 3,000 Canadians who were on it at that point in time from having access to it. And, uh, and then... Um, after they'd finally, you know, enough pressure had been put on them and enough news articles uh, had come out showing the 
issues that Health Canada was creating. They let it back across the border in later 2003, but then they came in and charged us in 2004, even though the new NPN regulations had already come into effect and we were no longer in contravention of anything that Health Canada was uh, claiming we were. They came in and charged us and my father and David Hardy end up in the courts on stand. And um, what ended up happening was a really beautiful thing out of all of this. It was a very expensive um, procedure, but what came out of it was a victory. After it was proven that our products did what we claimed they were doing, even though studies have been shut down in, in Canada, there was researchers in the US that had found out about it and they began to study it. Researchers like Dr. Charles Popper, a renowned psychopharmacologist and psychiatrist out of Harvard University. He had found out about it. He was extremely skeptical. Um, and that's a whole other story in itself uh, as to how he eventually ended up trying it. But what ended up uh, coming about was that he ended up studying it. And what he came and testified of, even though he's a renowned psychopharmacologist and psychiatrist, and he actually co has co-authored a lot of the textbooks that psychiatric students will learn from, and he's actually the one responsible for bringing lithium into North America as a treatment for child and adolescent bipolar. He testified that the Empower Plus was more effective than any medication or combination of medications that he had ever studied before. And his drug of choice was actually lithium, which is interesting because lithium is just a mineral, but it's being administered um, in a toxic way, uh, way too high. Uh, of doses and um, and in the improper form, but it's just kind of interesting that that's what he would generally rely on because it was more effective for treating depression than many of the other psychiatric medications. And so he came and testified to that, as well as Health Canada took issue over the fact that we have a support program, that we had had to develop a support program to assist thousands and thousands of people at this point in time in coming off their medication safely and effectively because the doctors weren't being trained on how to take their, their clients, their patients off medications. They were being educated that when a, a mental health patient comes in, that uh, they're gonna be put on medications and they're gonna be a lifetime patient. And that yet, yeah, maybe the medication will stop working. So you transition them onto a different medication, but that they'll never be able to come off medications. So that they weren't learning how to take people off medications and they weren't learning that these medications were extremely addictive as well and would come with a whole set of withdrawal symptoms. And so we had to develop a program to help people uh, navigate through that process and eliminate a lot of the withdrawal effects. And so <clears throat> Health Canada took major issue with that because we literally assisted thousands of Canadians at that point in time in coming off psychiatric medications. And so what Dr. Charles Popper testified of was that when he had questions on how to help his own uh, clientele and his personal practice um, in coming off medications, he would phone us and refer to us as the experts. And so it was established that our products were safe and effective as well as our programs that we had had put in place at that point in time. And so what came out of it was a victory, but more so than just a victory for us, it was a victory for all of Canada because it set a legal precedent that helped protect the whole natural health industry. Because before this point in time, Health Canada had free reign to just go about and attack whatever companies they wanted to attack. Companies like Strauss with their heart drops or Purica with their recovery joint formula. And so <clears throat> Health Canada was, was in the business of trying to eliminate the competition from the pharmaceutical industry. And so this uh, court case helped establish a legal precedent that would prevent them from being able to do so um, without just cause. And so it was really quite a beautiful thing that came out of all of this in helping to protect our natural health freedoms here in Canada. Now, <clears throat> what came about of it is the studies started back up again, even though Health Canada initially shut them down. And today there's now 35 medical journal publications on the Empower Plus. And so I'm gonna go through uh, a general list of the things that it's been studied on. Uh, mainly in alphabetical form. Um, actually, no, I'm going to start off with the childhood disorders because the question pops up often, is it safe and effective for children? And the, the simple answer is yes. Children absolutely need, need nutrition, especially during those developmental years, uh, in order for them to become healthy, uh, productive adults. And so let's start off with that. So we have ADD, ADHD, 
Many of the studies have been done on that. Um, very, very effective for it. Uh, we have OCD and ODD, or Oppositional Defiance Disorder. Same thing, very effective for it. And then we also have uh, autism and Asperger's. So the spectrum there that's being covered as well. There was a study that took place out of the University of Saskatchewan specifically on autism. And what it was was a comparative analysis between two groups of people, um, all autistic, those that were on standard medical treatments and those that were on the Empire Plus. And the only thing that they had to say about the standard medical treatment is that uh, the only benefit is that it was cheaper because it was covered by the healthcare system. But in relation to therapeutic value, it wasn't even close. It wasn't even a close comparison. What they found is that there was a significant reduction in antisocial behaviors, a significant reduction in self-injurious behaviors, and that uh, those that were um, consuming the Empire Plus just did far better, plain and simple. What we've found in our own uh, personal practice in working with parents um, that have autistic children is that we've even seen it where uh, nonverbal children will become verbal, which is an incredible thing, um, especially for the parents. I mean, the fact that now there can be some communication taking place uh, that's verbal rather than relying on completely nonverbal communication. And so, so we have autism and Asperger's as well as the other childhood disorders. We have anxiety, which we see a major increase in today, you know, no thanks to our government and all of the mandates and restrictions and all that. Um, so we see a major increase in that. We see an increase in stress as well as PTSD. And it's been shown effective for that, which we're going to talk about in a little bit more depth, but also bipolar, major depressive disorder, uh, psychosis, and then, um, no, I'm not going to get there yet. And then <clears throat> one of the studies was done specifically on the safety of it. And that was done during the time that people were consuming anywhere between 18 to 36 capsules per day. And uh, what it showed is that there was no issues. There was nothing uh, coming up in the blood work that would be alarming. In fact, everything uh, came back with a very clean bill of health um, beyond what you would anticipate from regular people. And so there was a, a publication done specifically on the safety of these supplements. And there was not a single concern that was brought forward. So <clears throat> let's go into the stress real quick, because this is something that applies to all of us. We all deal with stressful situations. Some of us deal with a little bit more stressful situations than others at you know, certain given times of our life. Well, what was interesting is that Dr. Julia Rockledge out of the University of Canterbury in Christchurch, New Zealand, was about to do a double-blind placebo-controlled trial in adult ADHD and depression. And what happened was there was a huge earthquake. I'm not sure if anybody remembers that. This goes all the way back to 2011. And Christchurch, New Zealand was hit with this massive earthquake that literally... Uh, made it so that people's lives were falling apart around them. The buildings were devastated. It was a really traumatic event. And it wasn't just a one-time event because it was almost every single day thereafter, they had aftershocks that they would feel. And so they, it was just that kind of salt in the wound and you know not allowing it to heal. And then it was only a number of months later, they had another uh, earthquake in the seven um, uh, Richter scale. And so they were going through this major situation. And so what she should decide to do, because it's very unlikely that you'll ever have this opportunity to be able to study the effects of a nutritional supplement or any, any product at all um, <clears throat> on the effects of going through a crisis because it takes time to get the studies ready to go. And she had everything ready to go. So she quickly morphed it to be a post-earthquake study. And so what she did is she took uh, all these people that were going through this, this situation she put a number of them on Empire Plus. She put in, uh, a bunch of others on um, Bear's Barocca. So Bear, Aspirin, you know, Bear, Monsanto, Marriage Made in Heaven or Hell, sorry. Uh, you know, that type of thing. So she took <clears throat> a, a group of, of people that were on, that had got, or she put them onto Bear's Barocca. Now what Barocca is, it's actually a multivitamin. And Bear had acquired it from another company after a bunch of studies took place. And Bear came out and actually made the statement, it's their most effective um, treatment for stress above and beyond any other pharmaceuticals. So they'd bought out this, this, uh, this multivitamin uh, product and they're using it for that particular purpose. So she did a comparison in a very stressful situation, mind you, using their product for stress. And what she found is that those that were taking the Empower Plus throughout the study were over twice as likely to report positive findings throughout the study 
They had far less depression, far less anxiety. They had a greater determination and motivation to move forward with, in life compared to those that were on the Bears Baroka. And at the completion of the study, those who had taken the Empire Plus versus those that took the Bears Baroka, the ones that were taking the Empire Plus were over five times more likely to continue taking the Empire Plus because of those profound effects that they had seen while they were on it. And what's interesting, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll go on a little bit of a, a limb here, just based on my own personal experience, as well as uh, what I've observed in others. I wasn't over there. I didn't get to observe it. But this is likely what was observed, is that the individuals, even though they had their lives falling apart around them, that got into the Empire Plus, their quality of life, their perspective of life, their overall happiness was probably greater during that time of crisis while they were on the Empire Plus than it was previous. That's the type of stuff that we see. It's in incredible how resilient we become to stress and how um, much more motivated and determined we become when we empower our bodies with the proper nutrition that we need to produce all the various hormones and neurotransmitters that help us just feel great, right? When we produce dopamine naturally at the appropriate rate, we don't ever find ourselves going down the road of, a, of addiction to try to get a dopamine fix because we don't need it. We're high on life. That's the way we're supposed to be, right? And so <clears throat> that's what they saw in the study is that those that were on the Empire Plus did far, far better than those who were taking Bears Baroka, which sounded like it was a half-decent product. There was scientific validation behind it. Now, I want to talk about another study here. Um, there's actually uh, a couple, uh, pub, uh, there's one publication, a clinical um, uh, trial that took place with two different clinicians um, <clears throat> that were blinded to each other in relation to the effects of Empire Plus on traumatic brain injury. And now this was traumatic brain injury that was not fresh. Um, this individual was experiencing the effects for eight years from uh, being hit by a car uh, while crossing the road and uh, suffering some significant uh, traumatic brain injury that was career altering. He was part of the bomb squad uh, in the, the um, UK military or the British military. And that obviously changed because that was a high stress situation that he could no longer uh, be a part of. And he suffered with this for eight years. And there was two blinded clinicians that observed him over the period of a year while in, on the Empire Plus. And then they came together at the end with their uh, results already documented. And what they both concluded is that he was back to where he would have been pre-injury, that there was no issues. There was no residual issues anymore. So a complete recovery from the traumatic brain injury that wouldn't just go away. It wasn't going away on its own, hadn't gone away in eight years. And all of a sudden, within one year of taking the Empire Plus, um, it's gone. And so it probably, um, they probably could have done some other, other things. And we're going to talk about that, that would have accelerated the effects of it that it wouldn't have required a full year, but we'll get into that. Now, there's another study I want to talk about. And this goes back to what I was talking about with the fact that brain cells can regenerate and why nobody's hearing about it. So <clears throat> Dr. Brian Kolb, out of the Canadian Center for Behavior and Neuroscience, this was the building that they actually built for him to, to continue on his studies. It's, uh, from my understanding, it's the best neuroscience program in Canada is out of Lethbridge, Alberta, because of the facility that they, that they made for him and the, um, the studies that they have uh, engaged in. They've, they've discovered some incredible things here. So what <clears throat> Dr. Brian Kolb decided to do was do a follow-up study. You see, because he discovered that brain cell regeneration could take place using 22 vitamins and minerals. So what he decided to do after his brother-in-law, who struggled with major anxiety, got well using the Empire Plus, uh, he decided to do a follow-up study with our 36 ingredient formula. So <clears throat> what, what they did is they took the Purina rat chow, which is, it's, that's such a thing. And then they add 22 vitamins to the, the one Purina rat chow. And then they add 36 RR ingredients to the other Purina rat chow. So same diet, uh, no other variables. And so what they did is they took 120 two to four day old rats. So very young rats. And they performed a surgery on them where they would either remove a large portion of the parietal lobe of their brain, or sorry, they'd punch holes in the parietal lobes of the brain, or they would remove a large portion of the frontal lobe of the brain. Both of these procedures impairing their cognitive functioning, retarding them, right? Then what they would do over the next 90 days 
is they would study the rats. They would examine them, putting them through different cognitive uh, testing, maze test, the Morris water test, to see how well they, they performed cognitively. And obviously, you would, you would anticipate that these rats would be quite um, slow, given the fact that they have a large portion of the frontal lobe completely gone, or they have holes punched in their parietal lobes. What they found was interesting, though, after 90 days of the supplementation, they found that the rats that were on the Empower Plus not only got their cognitive functioning back, but they were actually outperforming the control rats that never had a brain injury after 90 days. So then what they decided to do was, and normally I'd have charts and stuff like that, uh, but this is the dumbed down uh, or the shortened version of the presentation where it actually shows that, you know, it's like 10% higher cognition in the rats that had uh, the brain injury, but got on the Empire Plus versus the rats that never had a brain injury, but weren't on the Empire Plus. So here's what the rat brain should look like. These are the ones coming from the control rats, control rats on 22 vitamins and minerals, control rats on Empire Plus. The only difference is coloration for identification purposes. There's actually really no um, visible differences in, in these, these brains, even though one is much more highly performing. So <clears throat> here's the ones that had a large portion of the frontal lobe removed. Now there had been some regrowth here and that's astounding because remember, it was thought that once you have brain damage, the damage is done. There's nothing you can do about it. So there was some regrowth that had taken place here, which was phenomenal in itself, but obviously not a full regrowth. What they found with the Empower Plus is that there was a complete regrowth of the frontal lobe of the brain. They'd never seen that before. Now, the parietal lobes is a little more evident because this is almost unbelievable. What you're going to see with the parietal lobes is you're going to see those holes there punched in the parietal lobes, which actually impairs their cognitive functioning uh, beyond the removal of the frontal lobe of the brain. And so <clears throat> there have been some filling in there, which is quite profound. Here's the, the interesting thing is all you can see is the scar tissue where those holes had once been with the rats that were on the Empire Plus. They then went further to take a look at what the neurons looked like. And an indicator of a highly functioning uh, neuron is how complexly branched and how long the dendrites are. And so the dendrites are, you know, the root ball there at the bottom, basically, if we, if we were to, you know, take a look at these like they are trees. And so the more dendrites there are, and the longer they are, the more points of connection you have and the greater connectivity that you have. So able to send and receive messages far more effectively and without fail. Now, these are only two dimensional images. The, it, it actually doesn't even do it justice. What they found is that the rats that had um, the Empower Plus had significantly, significantly more dendrites and they were longer. I, I wouldn't want to be the researcher actually having to go through and count all of this. But anyways, somebody had to do it. So really quite profound, but going right back to, I, I always love to, to try to bring this back into context. These pictures mean nothing. In relation to the outcome of the study, the pictures mean nothing. They merely provide some validation. How many of us woke up this morning, went down to our, our bathroom mirror, we're brushing our teeth, looked ourselves in the mirror and said, I wonder what my brain looks like today. Probably not. I don't think we really care what our brain looks like. It's probably not something that crossed our mind too often. What we really care about is how's our brain working today? How am I feeling today? Am I feeling overwhelmed? Am I feeling stressed? Am I feeling, you know, a fog? Am I able to see clearly? Am, am I going to be able to make clear and concise decisions? Right? That's really what we care about. Are we going to be able to perform? And that's the, the crux of it is that the point of this, uh, the most important part of the study is the fact that the rats got their cognitive functioning back. That was the most amazing part. The regrowth obviously was, was played a role in that, but um, that was the most beautiful part is that it had that effect. So this ended up getting published in an eight page article in the Discover Magazine, a science-based magazine out of the US, um, <clears throat> which had a subscription base, I believe at that point in time of 8 million people. So it was really, it really got out there. So all of a sudden our phones are ringing off the hook uh, from people that, uh, you know, have str uh, struggled with stroke, suffered stroke and have the after effects of that or concussions or any other traumatic brain injury. And so <clears throat> we weren't as hopeful though, or optimistic that it was going to have the same effect 
in the human populace as it would in two to four day old rats. Those are very young rats. Their ability to heal is significantly greater than somebody in their 20s, 30s, 40s, or 70s, right? Um, and so we weren't that optimistic, but we thought, you know what? Hey, <clears throat> it can improve their quality of life. If, if it can make some changes, that's wonderful. Well, we were astounded. It didn't happen in 90 days, but what we found is that many people that had suffered stroke or traumatic brain injury, even in their 60s and 70s, that over the period of a year or two, that many times they had almost a full recovery. And in some instances, some people were claiming to have a full recovery, which was really, really quite incredible because we didn't think that it would be that way. We didn't think that when, you know, once you get to that age, you, you typically kind of, you know, going down you're not able to heal. You wouldn't, you wouldn't anticipate to have that kind of recovery. And, but yet people were getting that. And so we were quite astounded, but here's the interesting thing about this. Why isn't this type of information found in textbooks? Why are we still learning that the brain can create new pathways around the damaged area, but that the brain can't fix the damaged area? Well, there seems to be a bit of an agenda here. This was the most exciting research that these researchers had ever put their name behind. They would come and visit us. We, we, uh, our, our head office was about half an hour, about 40 minutes from the university. And they would come and visit us from time to time. And they'd give us updates and show us what was going on. And they were all excited about it. And all of a sudden, this attack happened. The same type of attack that happened that tried to prevent the science from moving forward with the Empower Plus. The same attack happened on the university. And now we know who the large funders of the universities are, especially in relation to their medical programs. And so something took place where all of a sudden the researchers didn't know what to do. They didn't know how to handle the opposition and they actually went quiet on it. And so this particular study actually never made its way into another publication except for the eight page article found in the Discover magazine, which is really quite a shame because the amount of people that could have had that blessing available to them that had suffered from concussions and strokes would have been phenomenal. In fact, we've gone down that, that road a little bit where we've begun to work with athletes, professional athletes, and um, you know, even ones that are well into the retirement, but still suffering the effects of um, the issues from all of the injuries. Uh, and, and I don't think he'd mind me using his name because he's actually presented alongside me uh, a few times. But uh, Morris Lukowicz, who was the team captain for the Winnipeg Jets in the 80s, um, he said it's interesting because even though he had the career that he'd always wanted and he's, you know, he, he's team captain, he's, he's the top of the team. He wanted to kill himself at that point in time because of the emotional issues that occurred due to the traumatic brain injuries that he kept on suffering. And now that he's well into retirement, he says he, his life is better than it's ever been with the use of the Empire Plus, because he's been able to heal from the residual effect of all of those concussions over and over and over. So really quite phenomenal. Okay, I'm gonna sum up this portion of, of the, um, <clears throat> the presentation and get right into the, the products, and then we'll get into the question and answer uh, period here. So to sum it up, 26 years after Joe had initially got onto these four different products and then ended up on the Empire Plus. Today, you would never know that he'd been mentally ill as long as he continues to take his supplements. If he stops taking them, then he, re he reverts back to where he was, which is really quite simple to explain. Because if a deficiency created a certain level of dysfunction in the body that manifested in the form of mental illness, and you correct the deficiency and the dysfunction goes away, well, if you remove the supplements and the deficiency comes back because our food doesn't have adequate amounts of those vitamins and minerals, then the dysfunction would only be anticipated that it would come back. And so we've seen that over and over and over in our own personal lives, but also within literally the over 100,000 people that we've worked with uh, over the last two and a half decades. And so as long as Joe continues to take supplements, he's well. When he doesn't, he's somebody you don't want to be around. And so he didn't have the opportunity when he was ill to be able to, you know, <clears throat> think about have a family or a career or anything like that, because uh, it just wouldn't have happened. He was too volatile. He would have never been able to have a long lasting relationship. Today, he has six beautiful children with his wife, 
that he's been with uh, for basically 17 years now. A life that he should have never had. And in fact, what's, what's even cooler about this story is when he met, um, who is now his wife, when he met her and they began dating, he discovered that she had her own mental health um, conditions and was actually being medicated for it. And so they both ended up um, healthier and medication free and having the lives that they both never would have been able to have and been able to stay together and have six children. Now you can imagine the stress of having a set of twins. <clears throat> imagine the stress of having two sets of twins. And yes, there's two sets of twins there. At one point in time, six children ages six and under. So the amount of stress they would have been, you know, going through, and yet they were able to handle it. And no, you know, the, the twins is not a side effect of Empire Plus <clears throat> that we're aware of. Yes, you do become much more effective in many ways in your life, but I'm not sure if it uh, applies to reproduction. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Anyways, two sets of twins. Autumn. You never know she had been mentally ill. This is a slightly older picture. I mean, this is, I think this picture is five years old now. But anyways, she's more healthy and vibrant today than she was when she was in her early 20s. She was given the advice to have an operation to prevent her from becoming pregnant because of the issues that would occur from those five different medications that she was on and the effects that they would have on an unborn, unborn fetus. <clears throat> she's glad she didn't take that advice. Because after she got well, she went on to have three beautiful daughters with the faithful husband who stood by her side all throughout her, her own issues. And then she went on to write <clears throat> A Promise of Hope, a beautiful book. Um, <clears throat> I, I know we're low on stock. I don't know. Anyways, if you're interested, just let us know and, and we can see if we can get you a copy as well. It's one of those books that you, once you pick up, you just don't want to put down. Um, it's not just entertaining. It's not just um, emotionally riveting but it's also quite educational as well in relation to nutrition, but also in relation to the environment that we find ourselves in uh, within Canada when it comes to natural health freedom. It documents all of that. And so anyways, um, they both have the lives that they never would have had. My whole family, all nine of us have the lives that we would have never had. I don't tell my story because it was, you know, it dimmed in comparison. I wasn't um, nearly as severe as, as um, either one of my siblings here. But that's because I was young when Empower Plus came about and I've always faithfully taken it. And when I didn't, um, well, I became a, 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 an undesirable person to be around. Just ask my wife. So um, it's a beautiful thing to see the fact that a family that was destitute for destruction was able to avoid that altogether. Let's go into the products real quick here. <clears throat> Empower Plus, the flagship product. We, this was the only product we sold for quite some time. And for the majority of people, it worked. <clears throat> but then what we discovered is that, you know, sometimes it didn't quite work as well as we wanted to for certain people, uh, given certain cir circumstances. And so we'd have to apply other products. And so eventually we ended up supplying other products if there was a void in the marketplace. And so today in Canada, we now have six products. We could have a lot more, but we don't want a lot more. We just want to make sure uh, that we are supplying uh, the products necessary to ensure that people are getting well, especially in relation to mental health. And we're, we're diving into hormone health as well uh, to a great degree because they're actually quite interconnected. The production of uh, hormones is along the same lines as the production of neurotransmitters. So when you're able to uh, fix one, you're fixing both in most circumstances. So we'll talk about that. But let's go to Empower Plus. So the reason that it works is it's the right combination of ingredients and the ideal mineral balance. Now I'm going to go back to the right combination of ingredients because especially as, as nutritionists, um, you're going to look at the label and you'll be like, wait a minute, that vitamin B9, that's in the form of folic acid. That's an inferior form. What are they doing? This is supposed to be a high quality multivitamin. Why is it folic acid? It should be methylfolate or methyl tetrahydrofolate, right? Or wait a minute. That's cyanocobalamin, the vitamin B12. Why is it that and not uh, methylcobalamin? Here's an interesting little, little uh, educational piece based on our own experience with a significant amount of people. We have tampered with uh, the use of methylated vitamins with our Empire Plus, and it's not good. Now, here's why. 
Overmethylation is equally as bad as, or sometimes even worse than undermethylation. And what happens is when you have a 36 ingredient formula and 12 out of the 36 ingredients are scientifically validated, and I'm sure that number will just grow over time as, as our uh, knowledge expands on the methylation process, but 12 out of the 36 ingredients are <clears throat> there to help facilitate or um, known to facilitate proper methylation in the body. What will happen is when we supply methylated bees with the Empower Plus, the vast majority of people will respond poorly. Initially, they might do better, but then within a short period of time, they'll do worse once they begin to methylate at the appropriate rate, and now they're getting additional methylated bees. So we've actually seen where people have gone into states of, of anxiety and psychosis uh, accompanied with suicidal ideations. So it's we for a very, very particular reason, make sure that we're only supplying the folic acid and cyanocobalamin in those forms to and supplying all of the other nutrients necessary to facilitate the proper conversion of that at the appropriate rate. Um, because obviously you need methylfolate or methyl tetrahydrofolate in order to produce serotonin and dopamine. If you don't have it, you don't produce that. If you're not producing dopamine or serotonin, you're not going to feel mentally well. So our product would have never actually did what, it, what we claimed it was doing if it wasn't actually helping to facilitate methylation in the body. Now, the question will arise, well, what about those with the MTHFR gene mutation? Well, what we've actually seen, not with everybody, but there's a number of people that have come back and said, no, this, this didn't work for it. Um, and we don't know what the circumstances were, but we do know of, of others that have actually been tested positive for it. And then over the period of three, four, five months, they're on the Empire Plus. All of a sudden, they're testing negative for that gene mutation, which is interesting. Now we're going to epigenetics. That just because there's something going on genetically doesn't mean we're doomed with it. It just means we need to change the environment and allow for those things to correct. We've seen the same thing when we're talking uh, genetic mutations. Um, <clears throat> hemochromatosis, the inability to process iron wherein people have to avoid iron-rich foods because they'll actually overload and they'll actually end up with a bloodletting uh, to get rid of the iron-rich blood. And we've seen this time and time again. We have to be very careful with the Empower Plus because it contains iron. And so if they go onto it too fast, they'll actually end up with too rich of iron or uh, too much iron in their blood. And then they'll need to go get some uh, blood let out. But what we found is if, if they take it slow, one capsule per day for one week, two capsules per day for week two, three capsules per day for week three, is that generally by the time they get to the full dose, they, don't they no longer have the hemochromatosis, which is a result of two genetic mutations. Two genetic mutations in order to create the condition of hemochromatosis, and yet we're seeing it being corrected, where now, and I've personally worked with an individual who had it, and, and uh, it was amazing because <clears throat> he's now to the point he doesn't even have to think about it. He eats whatever food he wants with no concerns, went to the doctor, and for the first time uh, in, in his adult life, his blood work came back normal. And he's not even avoiding the iron-rich food anymore. But it's because he applied that, um, that protocol uh, very, very carefully and slowly and got onto the full dose over the period of six to eight weeks. And so it's amazing to see what the body can do. So genetic mutations doesn't mean that we're doomed. It doesn't mean that uh, we're confined to that state for the rest of our life. Um, we just need to change the environment. But also in relation to methylation, uh, like my father says, <clears throat> it's better to make it than to take it. And so we want to allow our bodies, we want to empower our bodies to be making the, the methylated vitamin Bs at the appropriate rate so that we don't end up in a state of overmethylation. Okay. Now we're going to go back to ideal mineral balance. Once again, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, copper, and zinc has to be in the proper balance. Otherwise, you, have, you can actually do more damage than you do good. So when a lot of people take these bone health products that just have calcium, that's a, that's a big no-no. Okay, proprietary chelation and micronization process because <clears throat> we can do all these other things, but if it's not absorbing and assimilating into the body, it doesn't make a difference if it's the right combination of ingredients or, or what your balance of, of nutrition is. Um, <clears throat> it has to be absorbable. And so that's really what allows for it to work. Now, what to expect from it? Improved mood and focus. Once again, supplying many of the coenzyme factors to facilitate the production of hormones and neurotransmitters in the body. 
increased immunity. Uh, these nutrients have a profound effect in all areas of the body. Um, and so we can break down, you know, something or mineral by mineral, vitamin by vitamin as to why it would have an impact on immunity. But what we actually saw, <clears throat> there was a, uh, one of the largest oil companies in Canada used to purchase it by the hundreds from us and give it to their staff free of charge. And what they saw was actually less sick days being phoned in, but also <clears throat> on a real macro level, uh, we get to see the effect that it would have in human relations, our ability to relate to each other and reduce conflict. And that's what they actually observed is that the, it, was, it actually made the organization flow a little bit better. We've seen that in many families where we've had people come to us say, you saved our marriage, blah, blah, whatever. But we actually have to see the impact on a large organization. Better sleep. <clears throat> if you're not producing adequate levels of serotonin, you're probably not producing adequate levels of melatonin. Many times people will come to us with depression and they're also on a sleep aid. We correct the depression and we get them off the sleep aid and they're doing fine. They sleep well. If they need a little bit of additional help um, in the interim, we have other products for that as well, which we'll talk about. Detoxification, three main elements to this. One, many of the minerals uh, in here actually have an affinity to different heavy metals and will help pull them out. Two, being that it's chelated, it acts as an oral chelator and will help detoxify medications and heavy metals of the body. Three, methylation is absolutely crucial for detoxification in the body especially when it comes to certain heavy metals, they have to be methylated to make them into a transportable form to help pull them out of the, the body. And so the fact that this is empowering the methylation in the body uh, helps facilitate further detoxification. All right, <clears throat> let's get into the, the nascent diet. And this is, a, this is an incredible one here. Okay. The reason why we came up with it is there's a void in the marketplace. There's concerns about uh, iodine supplementation, thyroid congestion, backlogging uh, with a thyroid that's not able to uh, convert iodine appropriately, all that type of stuff. Some, some of it's unwarranted or um, uh, really kind of um, blown out of proportion. Um, but anyways, what we decided to do <clears throat> when people would come to us and they'd have a severe thyroid condition that is accompanied by low vitality for life, depression. The Empower Plus many times would have an impact on it, but sometimes not enough. So what we decided to do was implement the nascent iodine alongside the Empower Plus and found that it worked very, very well. Now, nascent iodine is iodine. It's I2 that goes through an electromagnetic process that will suspend <clears throat> that molecular bond, putting it into its atomic form which the thyroid actually has to have access to and will convert other forms to uh, before it can start producing T4 hormones, which then down convert to T3 hormones. And so it's important, um, especially with a dysfunctional thyroid, to supply a form of iodine that's more gentle, but yet more effective. And that's exactly what we've done here. And, it, and it's worked wonders uh, for many people. So reason why it works, it's bioavailable. Um, has very low surface tension. Much of it will absorb right in the mouth. That's how I, uh, uh, first thing I do in the morning is I get a, an ounce glass of water. I put a few drops in there, switch around my mouth, let it absorb right there. And it'll actually start to kickstart my metabolism within five to 10 minutes. I notice the difference and it's pre-converted. So that's, that's a, what makes it stand out from regular iodine. Now it works really well when you use the Empower Plus because you have a lot of the companion nutrients available being the selenium, the magnesium, now, you probably learned about the selenium and iodine relationship that uh, with Hashimoto's, that when somebody has Hashimoto's and they can't uh, consume iodine without detrimental effects from it, that if you supplement with adequate levels of selenium, many times you can overcome the Hashimoto's. And so <clears throat> um, the selenium, uh, the magnesium make it more effective. Now, there's also another companion nutrient here as well in relation to Hashimoto's that I'm going to touch on in a minute as well the vitamin C, B2, B3, which are all present in the Empower Plus, and the inositol. And so the inositol and selenium, you don't want to just go selenium alone if you're dealing with Hashimoto's. The inositol is also uh, quite crucial for that. And so you combine those and you should have basically a winning team there that would help somebody overcome the Hashimoto's and be able to consume the nascent iodine without any problems and actually just see the, the, their quality of life increase significantly. And then also making sure that people are consuming enough sea salt while they're um, on the nascent iodine. doesn't need to be taken at the same time, obviously, but just make sure that people have enough salt in their diet um, so that it's uh, working appropriately. <clears throat> okay. 
what to expect from it. Balanced hormones and metabolism. Every hormone in the body has a receptor site for iodine. And if you don't have adequate levels of iodine, fluoride or bromide is going to um, going to occupy that receptor site. And so you're going to have all these hormones going around with, um, you know, these elements that shouldn't be there. Metabolism. The T3 hormone is responsible for regulating the metabolic rate of every single cell in the body. So that's why it's the first thing I do in the morning is I consume that so that I don't feel like I should go and have a coffee or something else um, to, to give me a pick me up. I just, my body awakes and I'm good to go. Increased IQ. They've done studies um, in areas with sufficient iodine versus deficient. What they found is up to 13 and a half points IQ difference. Even the World Health Organization, which I don't trust almost anything that they say, they came out with this truthful statement saying that I, um, iodine was the number one preventative for mental retardation. Um, it has a profound effect in the brain. It also helps uh, detoxify um, or decalcify the pineal gland. That's probably part of why there's an increase in uh, the IQ detoxification, not just from things like lead and cadmium, but also <clears throat> fluoride and bromide and chloride don't detox. They don't chelate like heavy metals do. And so if you want to detoxify from them, you have to displace them in the system. So even if you've lived a clean diet, <clears throat> I'm speaking from experience, and you weren't consuming uh, fluor fluorinated water uh, for many years, um, you take the, the iodine, you can end up in a detox crisis uh, pretty quick, um, especially when you have the companion nutrients. And so it'll displace the fluoride and bromide. And, uh, and then if you do it too fast, you'll end up with a rash. So uh, just make sure that when you do it uh, or you recommend it, you, you do so slowly. Start people at two drops per day. If they want to get to 10, even up to 20 drops per day, uh, do it over the period of three to four weeks. Um, <clears throat> what I found personal experience and, uh, I've seen it happen to others is within five days of taking 10 drops per day, I broke out in almost a full body rash I had a public presentation that I had scheduled in Winnipeg three days later. And I was really quite concerned because I was starting to look pretty bad as this rash was coming up my face and it was covering my arms and here I'm going to go present on health. And yet I look like a wreck. Uh, fortunately when that happens, um, you can get the rash to go away very, very quickly. So I went and consumed a copious amount of vitamin C. I took a teaspoon of sea salt, which uh, helps with the, the, the flush, um, helps pull those uh, elements out. And I ate a bunch of tamarind all at four in the morning uh, because that's when I woke up uh, scratching my skin to the point that it started to break. Um, and then when I woke up <clears throat> later that morning, uh, most of it was gone. I stopped the iodine because I didn't even know how to deal with it. And um, it was by about evening, um, I had no residual effects from the rash. So you can get to go away quickly, but you got to flush um, the fluoride bromide out of you. And, uh, if you're flushing it too fast, it wants to come up with skin. So, uh, start slow. Ultimately increased vitality for life is what we're looking for. And that's, that's what we've seen is that people will just get that, that, um, that effect and feel much better for life. BMD. It's our bone health product that, uh, that we had no desire to produce. Um, but we found a lot of people were taking other, uh, calcium supplements alongside the empire plus and they were actually seeing less results from the Empire Plus than if they weren't taking those other supplements at all. So what we decided to do was produce a balanced form, very similar to the Empire Plus, uh, consisting of just seven minerals and three vitamins um, that would be for bone health that we could supply to people so that they, could, they wouldn't have the negative effect from taking other mineral supplements alongside the Empire Plus and that they could feel mentally well, but also that they'd have a, a really great uh, bone health product that would actually do the job. So the reason why it works, same thing, right combination of ingredients. So we have the calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, the boron, the selenium, the copper, and the zinc. And then we have vitamin C, D, and vitamin K2. Um, <clears throat> and then we're making sure that those minerals are in the proper balance. Once again, the calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, and the copper and zinc. And then <clears throat> um, we put it through our uh, chelation process to make sure that it's actually bioavailable. So it does its job. So what to expect from it? Stronger bones, teeth, joints. Um, what's interesting about this, deeper sleep. Five out of the seven minerals in there are scientifically validated to help people get to sleep faster and to help them get into a deeper sleep. And so it's actually being used as a sleep aid by many people. Take two, two tablets before bed and it'll help you uh, get to sleep and stay asleep. Reduction in arthritis, uh, that's largely due to the boron in there. Um, we have many people that have used it for arthritis and seen profound effects there. 
Um, if somebody has really bad arthritis, I'd recommend consuming more boron on top of what's available in the BMD. And then improved iodine assimilation. <clears throat> and then here's the really interesting one um, that we are not marketing it openly for, but we should be because it's actually uh, one of the most uh, profound effects that people can see from it in a very short period of time. And that's in the use of the reduction in PMS symptoms, which I also forgot to mention. The th out of the 35 medical journal publications, one of them on Empire Plus, one of them was done on PMS and it showed profound effects. But the BMD is actually more effective in relation to uh, a significant reduction in the cramping and the pain associated with it, as well as the longevity of the PMS. And so <clears throat> my recommendation is, if you're a candidate or if you know of somebody who's having debilitating uh, PMS symptoms every month, try it out. It works. Um, <clears throat> I was up in a community um, a year or I guess two and a half years ago, and they had major hormone issues up there uh, in, in this community. And BMD is one of our lower sellers because, it, you know, the, the bone health market is really kind of saturated. But what's interesting is when they discovered the effect the BMD had on their PMS symptoms, um, their consumption of the BMD started to rival the consumption of the Empower Plus because all of the women were just loving it. They were raving about it because they've been exposed to so much um, oil and gas toxicity, all, all the benzenes and xylenes and stuff like that, that their endocrine system was in such disruption that they were having these major uh, issues that would debilitate them for a day or two out of every month. And these were hardworking women on, on, on this commune, this farm, right? And so the BMD was, you know, kind of a lifesaver for them for those two, three days out of the month. So definitely recommend it. Okay, free aminos. Very comprehensive blend of amino acids uh, for the elimination or reduction in withdrawal symptoms from psychiatric medications. So th these are really quite uh, powerful for that. That's why we produced them but they have so many other roles in the body. Obviously, as you're aware, they're, they're amino acids and they're in their free form. They don't require digestion. They go straight to work. So <clears throat> that's why we produced it was to help people come off medications. So if somebody is on psychiatric medications, they want to come off those. The free aminos is fantastic for that while they're taking the Empower Plus to replace the psychiatric medications. Reason why it works, you're going to see the same principle being applied here. Right combination of ingredients. How did we determine that? We analyzed uh, for human nutrition is really what we were aiming for because you know an egg is perfect for a chick, right? Uh, to develop in uh, milk, uh, milk protein is perfect for a calf, but what is great or perfect for a human? Well, it's gonna be found in the human breast milk. So we analyzed the human breast milk. And what was interesting is it didn't matter what nationality you were, what your diet was like, um, where you were living. The analysis on human breast milk being supplied to older children, and when I say older, I'm saying two, three, four years old, rather than uh, a toddler or a, uh, an infant, because a newborn baby obviously is getting a, a different amino acid profile coming in with the colostrum. But the amino acid profile for the older children was the same across the board. And so what we did is we took those 22 amino acids that would be found in human breast milk. We obviously got them from a different source, and we put them in the same... Um, uh, or we put them in there in the same balance as what would be found in human breast milk. Then we added L-theanine, which is awesome for stress and anxiety to make a 23rd uh, free form amino acid in there. And then we added seven vitamins to help with the assimilation of those amino acids into the body so that they would do their job. And then made sure that they're in their free form so that they're extremely bioavailable. So once again, no digestion required. They go straight to work. Um, and so they have a profound therapeutic effect, not just in mental health, um, but in recovery from, from injury. Uh, you know, that's the first thing I do after a workout is I'll go pop three of those. Then I'll go and take my protein shake after, and I'll get the, the extended release of the 30 grams of protein that's slowly digesting over two to three hours. But I get that initial hit right off the bat from the free aminos going into the bloodstream and beginning reparation right off the bat. So what to expect? <clears throat> Improved mood and hormone balance. Why? Because almost every hormone in the body, other than steroidal hormones that come from cholesterol, come from amino acids, right? Going through an enzyme reaction that requires vitamins and minerals to facilitate the conversion. 
And every neurotransmitter in the body comes from an amino acid that then needs those enzyme reactions to convert it into the various neurotransmitters. So we're going to see a significant improve, uh, or improvement in mood and hormone balance by taking this, especially when you take it alongside the Empower Plus. Empower Plus on its own will do the main majority of the work because it's, it's addressing the, the biggest efficiency, but this is basically the icing on the cake. Better sleep, once again, uh, better production of melatonin. Increased immunity and faster recovery from physical injury. So if somebody comes to me and, and they're dealing with concussion or post-concussion syndrome or, or symptoms, <clears throat> the Empower Plus is the first thing I'll recommend, but if budget isn't an issue, the free meadows goes along with it and it will actually accelerate the recovery and it will actually get them to a point of recovery that's above and beyond what they would normally uh, expect just from the Empower Plus alone. They're gonna be better than they ever were before. So <clears throat> that's the free minos. All right, two more. Olive leaf extract. Um, <clears throat> not sure how, how familiar um, all of you are with olive leaf extract, but it is a very potent herb, a very uh, therapeutic herb in a number of ways. Uh, one of those things that you'd want on, on, on your shelf, uh, in your own home, <clears throat> in your cupboard, uh, and one of those things that you'd want available to recommend to others. And so the olive leaf extract, the reason why we came out with it was, <clears throat> one, we were finding hit and miss results by recommending other forms of it, which we'd been recommending for years. So we made sure that we produced a version that had uh, everything intact so that it would actually have the therapeutic effects in relation to um, the, the anti-candida or antifungal effects that it has. So that's our main, main um, reason for it. So if somebody comes to us, they get on the Empire Plus, it's not really working. One of the main reasons uh, that we'll find is that their gut health is impaired, that they have an, a candida overgrowth in many instances. So the olive leaf extract will help knock that, that back. Then we also recommend maybe a little bit of uh, garlic or caprylic acid, grapefruit seed extract alongside that. And then, uh, you know, to follow up with some really great probiotics. And it's kind of like a gut reset and uh, people will all of a sudden start feeling way better and they'll start digesting their food much better too. So <clears throat> that's why we use it. But, um, and so the reason why it works, going back to it, is we're just making sure it's intact. So it's, it's an effective form. What to expect from it? Improved immunity and intestinal health. It's antibacterial. It's antiparasitic. It's antiviral. And it's antifungal. The literature, if you go and look it up, <clears throat> you'll find literature showing that olive leaf extract is actually an effective treatment for HIV. So... If you ever stumble across somebody with HIV, all of leaf extract. Um, <clears throat> I've read literature on it where it shows it as a, using it as like a multi-strain antibiotic. It's more effective than many of the other antibiotics out there, except that it's natural and you won't get the negative side effects from it. And it doesn't create gut dysbiosis as well, which is interesting. So it's a little more selective in relation to getting rid of the things that ought not to be there, but not just decimating everything. So <clears throat> antiparasitic, that's always a beautiful thing too, especially in relation to intestinal health. Okay, better blood pressure helps regulate it into the normal range, whether it be high or low. So that's why we have cardio health on our label there. So if somebody's struggling with uh, blood pressure issues, uh, it's a good thing to use. Um, we've seen also effects from the Empower Plus in relation to that as well. Um, so really use both of them and, and you're gonna see some profound effects. Anti-aging, it's over four times more potent as a, as a um, antioxidant than what vitamin C is. So that's a great thing too. Okay, last one, but not least, the inositol. The inositol we have used in our clinical practice <clears throat> for anxiety. Somebody comes off an, an anxiety medication or they've got the Ativan sitting there, they're getting onto the Empire Plus. The Empire Plus over time is correcting the anxiety, but something triggers them that day and they don't know how to deal with it. They go home. What's the first thing they're reaching for? The Ativan, right? <clears throat> now they're on the Empire Plus. They're going to have uh, over medication taking place. It's not going to be as pretty. We're going to have to work through it. And, and if they stay on the Ativan for a few days, then there's going to be a bit of withdrawal. And so anyways, the Inositol became our go-to, the replacement for the Ativan. It has a profound anti-anxiety effect that generally sets in within five to 10 minutes. So Somebody struggling with, with anxiety, panic attack, rage, anger, teaspoon, heaping teaspoon under the tongue, let it sit there. Some of it will absorb right there sublingually. 
And then down the rest of it, it naturally tastes like icing sugar as it's converted from glucose in plants and humans will in their kidneys uh, on average convert about one gram of glucose per day into inositol, which isn't quite enough for our needs. We should be getting more of it out of our diet as well. Um, and when I say our needs, I'll get into the actual need of it. It's not just something that's desirable. It's necessary because what inositol, inositol does is it provides the structural basis for the secondary messenger molecule within every single cell so that the cells can then communicate with the first messenger molecules, which we know are hormones and neurotransmitters. So let's take, for example, somebody with type 2 diabetes are producing enough insulin, but it's not doing its job. Why? Well, it's interesting because the literature shows that inositol is more effective as a treatment than metformin for type 2 diabetes because it actually allows the cells to communicate with the insulin and do their job. Same thing goes with polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS. Same thing. The inositol has been proven in the scientific literature to be more effective as a treatment for PCOS than metformin. Why? Because it's facilitating the communication between neurotransmitters, hormones, and the cells so that they're actually doing their job. So here, the Empower Plus is helping the, the amino acids convert into or the, the cholesterol convert into hormones and um, the amino acids into neurotransmitters. And so here we can produce all that. And the inositol is um, heightening the level of communication with all of that. So it's kind of that almost full circle. And the iodine is helping to activate those hormones with, on, on that uh, receptor site that the hormones have. So we've kind of seen the, the, the full thing here. If you've got somebody who has major endocrine system issues, um, the iodine, the Empower Plus, the free aminos, and inositol are a go-to. My sister <clears throat> uh, used to struggle for quite some time with PCOS herself, couldn't get pregnant. Um, she just had her second uh, child uh, fairly recently here and uh, no longer struggles with that, as well as she was on um, uh, Synthroid or Desiccated, I think is Desiccated Thyroid medication, and now her thyroid levels are just fine without the need of any medical intervention because she's using those four different products, the iodine, the Empire Plus, the free aminos, and the inositol, and it, and it does a job. So in that kind of situation, if somebody's struggling with panic, anxiety, whatever, heaping teaspoon on, or on an as per need basis. If somebody has type 2 diabetes or PCOS or something that's more chronic, three to four heaping teaspoons per day is what the literature has showed to be able to help eliminate that. Okay, so the reason why this works, once again, we were recommending it uh, for many years. Some versions worked for anxiety, some didn't. We don't know why. So we just made sure that we produce our own that we put to the test. It worked for the anxiety. So it's an, it's an effective form. What to expect? Improved hormone and neurotransmitter functioning, as we talked about, better mood, not just in relation to anxiety, but also it's been scientifically shown to, to help with depression, as you can imagine, just about anything else, because now the dopamine and now the serotonin and all that good stuff is going to do its job better with the presence of a nostal in the system. Better sleep, melatonin is going to uh, perform its role better in the body. Now, when you take it, it does not make you sleepy <clears throat> during the day. In fact, if somebody had test anxiety and you took it, you would have a greater level of focus and you do better on your test. You'd be able to perform better. When you take it at night, though, when your body is, is going into uh, that sleep cycle, then you're going to go, you're going to become more sleepy because you should be. So it's just allowing you to do what you should be doing, right? You're not producing melatonin during the day, or at least you shouldn't be so much. And then better able to cope with it, with stress and anxiety, which obviously we're seeing a great level of. Okay. That's it. Um, <clears throat> let's, that went a little bit longer. I'm sorry. Boy, I, I rambled a little bit more. I don't know. It's That's okay. It um, was so yeah. much information. So so oh, sorry, there's, um, there's a bunch of questions that I do want to get to, but first I, I wanted to say thank you, um, for sharing your family story in that way as well. Um, I, I really appreciate that, um, on a personal level too. Um, and power plus was one of my first experiences with, um, natural health products in general, um, in my teenage years. I was struggling a lot with my mental health and self-medicating with different substances that were not working, went the SSRI route, had lots of scary side effects from that. 
And so it was one of my first forays into alternative medicine um, and definitely was really helpful. So you showed the different bottles and um, I was taking it around 2009. So a previous version. Um, and I think I was taking around 12 or maybe more than that per day um, to get to the full dose, but um, really, really useful product. Um, and, uh, and I just, I appreciate hearing the backstory. I wasn't aware of all of the things that went into your family's journey to create that. So I loved hearing that. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. And it's, it's always cool to, uh, to actually hear somebody's personal experience that, that can validate, you know, what, what was just uh, spoken of here. So, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> that goes back some time. That, that's amazing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It was a while ago. And, um, I have taken the, the product, um, most of the time, not all of the time. And like, like you said, when I stopped and I noticed, um, but I also had a brain injury um, almost eight years ago now and was really useful after that as well too. I, I heard so many times like, oh, this is as good as you're going to get. You need to learn to live with these things. And I didn't like that. So finding products like Empower Plus that offer that hope for healing um, and the science behind it. Um, I had never seen all of the information about the rat brains, which just, I'm going to go back and watch that section again and listen to you talk about it again, because that was really, really interesting. So let me um, jump in. There was a bunch of questions that um, came up throughout the time that you were speaking. Um, one of them says, would you recommend uh, simply adding the BMD to Empower Plus, or do you adjust the Empower Plus lower um, when you're adding that product? You can, yeah, you, you can lower the Empower Plus or lower the BMD. So the BMD is recommended at six tablets per day. And those tablets break down pretty easy, by the way, um, even though tablets are generally known as being a, a barrier in themselves. But um, if somebody's on Empower Plus, like myself, <clears throat> I wouldn't recommend taking more than four BMD per day unless there was a real good reason for it. So the the only time that I generally will take the BMD is just two two before bed, just to help us sleep. It's not that I need help with sleep, but just knowing you know it's right there. I'm about to go to bed, and so I'll I'll take two free aminos, I'll take two BMD, and I'll take a teaspoon of nostal, and I'll and I'll go and have a great sleep, better than I normally would have had, which is normally already pretty good. Mm -hmm. So um, so that's the only time I, I take it based on the fact that I'm taking the Empower Plus already. Um, when I broke my arm last year, now that was a different story. I, I was upping my amino acids and the uh, the BMD as well. I was making sure I was taking six per day um, because I had a very severe break where it, where it completely snapped and it's actually broken in two other places beyond that. Um, <clears throat> so I'd recommend taking more at that point in time. But generally, um, yeah, you can adjust the dosage, um, the dosing there. And so with Empower Plus, I would generally recommend in an acute situation, six to eight per day, and if somebody wanted to take BMD, but they didn't have osteoporosis, but they just want to take it as well, uh, two per day, if you get to the point, if you're taking it for PMS at that point in time, um, if you know it's coming on, <clears throat> get up to the six per day during that time, because you have a lot of nutrient loss, obviously, during that time, uh, that special time of the month. And uh, it's just a beautiful thing to make it more of a special time of the month rather than something that you resent. There's also a question here. Um, if they're wondering if people can just start taking um, your product if they're on various medications or if there's specific guidelines to follow. Um, and they have a little note here that they're pretty sure a doctor would tell you not to take it or that it won't help anyway. So is there um, support available to understand how to introduce this with psychiatric medications? Yes, there is. So in uh, some circumstances, it's quite simplistic. In others, if they're on a cocktail medications or they've been on medications for quite some time, we would definitely recommend that they actually phone the number on the back of the bottle or brochure or whatever, wherever it is. I mean, we've got a number put everywhere for that reason. Um, and we actually have warnings on there too, to not take with psychiatric medications. Um, so it doesn't go across the board with any medication, but any psychiatric medication, any mood altering medication um, or anti-seizure medication or anything like that, uh, we don't recommend taking it alongside that um, because they will become over-medicated. Now, if somebody isn't comfortable coming off their medications, they're not sold on the concept, but they, you know, they want to dabble with it. They can take one to two Empower Plus per day, not at the same time, but they can take up to two uh, doses of one capsule per day with the medication and not be too concerned about going into a state of, of over-medication but actually starting to get a little bit of nutrition and they're going to start to feel better. 
Then once they're comfortable with that and they want to come off the medication, then at that point in time, we would engage in a cross taper. Um, and many times it's pretty simplistic, but sometimes, uh, you know, going back to it, if it's cocktail medications uh, or a, a, what we consider a red flag medication, or they've been on the medication, you know, for decades, then at that point in time, it's advisable that they phone the support center and uh, they'll have a custom tailored uh, program set up for them. And uh, that way it takes the legalities off of, of you as well as practicing um, nutritionists because you're not covered uh, to be really dabbling in medication reductions at that point in time. So obviously they can do what they want to do, but that would be the, the general um, advice is to direct them our way where we'll help them come off the medication. Um, and then um, you can continue to, uh, you know, give them guidance and, and information in relation to um, the nutrition as time goes on. All right, that's helpful. Um, so there's a questions about a few different specific um, conditions. So the first one is wondering if there's any studies or information on your products in vertigo. Okay. Um, nope, there has been nothing done on vertigo that, uh, that I'm aware of um, that's included in any of the studies. Um, we've had a lot of anecdotal uh, stuff in relation to like tinnitus and, and vertigo and all that, but um, uh, nothing that's substantiated uh, scientifically. So it's one of those things, put it to the test. And, uh, you know, worst case scenario, it didn't work for that, but you felt better and you had more energy, right? Yeah, I also um, anecdotally in practice have, have seen this help with vertigo. Um, and personally, that was something that I struggled with after uh, my brain injury and definitely um, was was helped by the Empower Plus product. Um, so there's, I think there's, uh, if you search on the internet, there's lots of people who would talk about using Empower Plus and Vertigo, but like you said, that um, specifically the science um, of the Tina, it was you who was asking, um, David said, not yet. Um, she was also asking about um, the products and dementia. Okay, uh, so no uh, formal studies on dementia. Uh, there was, uh, and I'm not sure if anything ever came of it because I haven't heard anything since, but a few years back there, it looked like they were going to start a study up out of, I believe it was the University of Utah, was going to do a study on Alzheimer's because of the effect that they were seeing uh, anecdotally with that. Um, so it's one of those things, uh, I definitely put it to the test and I would also apply some great MCT oil or uh, coconut oil um, and you know try to get their guts in good working order with some probiotics and all that. Um, as well as getting them some uh, easily digestible um, uh, amino acids or proteins. And uh, you should be able to see some significant results. But uh, the Empire Plus alone, uh, in many people, has uh, produced some pretty good results. Um, anything relating to Lyme disease? Uh, Lyme disease can cause some serious issues in the brain over time. Uh, so <clears throat> we've seen it have a profound effect in relation to that. I don't think in relation to the correction of the limes or um, the elimination of the limes itself, but in relation to the correction of the damage that occurs from the limes, yes. Um, so perhaps one of those things, you know, um, and I'm not that well versed on this, but, you know, put the olive leaf extract uh, to the test in relation to uh, pinpointing the limes and the Empower Plus in relation to uh, correcting any damage that's occurred. Uh, we've got another question about a specific condition. So you mentioned um, use for ADHD in kids. Um, so this person says her daughter struggles with dopamine deficiency, uh, and she's wondering if you'd be able to break open the capsules to mix them into food in order for her to take it, or how you would recommend that children take the product. Yeah, so that's more my wife's department, uh, for sure. <laughs> um, <clears throat> she's, she's the mastermind behind that, but no, we've been doing this for many years. Um, there are powder forms, uh, available out of the U S we haven't brought them to Canada yet. Um, uh, because we are looking at uh, doing some modifications that would make them more, um, palatable for, for the health market here. But, uh, what we've been doing, uh, in our own household for many years is it's as simple. You grab the capsule, you twist and you go like that right into the blender, or you can mask it in yogurt, um, or, or whatever, but the, our kids get smoothies every day uh, and it makes parenting way, way easier. <laughs> and plus it's, it's benefiting them, right? They're developing properly and all that type of stuff. So 
uh, these have a much greater chance at life uh, than if they were nutrient deficient, especially during those developmental years. But uh, yeah, it's, it's quite easy uh, to, to pop those capsules open and it's quite easy to mask them in a smoothie. If, um, you know, with our kids, you know, they've been accustomed to it uh, since they were very young. So if you're starting off, I would start off slower uh, because the, the taste, the change, if they're accustomed to a certain smoothie and all of a sudden there's an Empire Plus in there, they might reject it. So start off slower and just kind of play with it that way to see if, if uh, it's palatable. And then you can slowly increase the amount as they get used to the fact that there's some mineral in there um, that they weren't aware of. Um, so personally, uh, we tried ordering the um, uh, powder of the Empire Plus for our little one when she was younger. Um, and the <laughs> she's not used to sweet foods, so she found the flavor was actually a bit too sweet for her. Um, so we've done the same thing with the capsules, just broken them open, um, and we'll usually um, use like an elderberry syrup or something else like that to kind of mask the flavor. So she's still taking it as a supplement, not mixed in with a smoothie, um, but that it's masking. It's, it's usually, it's the B vitamins and some of those, um, minerals that have those strong flavors, but, um, they, they can be masked, um, to be tolerable for sure for the kids. Awesome. Um, last question that I see about a specific condition um, it says insomnia and restless leg syndrome. Any thoughts on whether or not Empower Plus could help with that? Yep. So the insomnia, absolutely. Uh, we see it all the time. Um, restless leg syndrome, uh, generally, uh, we, we, you know, <clears throat> no studies on it, but uh, that's oftentimes accompanied um, or synonymous with mental health conditions. Um, and so <clears throat> there's, there's just, you know, this constant thing going on there, th these nerve issues. Um, and so, yeah, you would anticipate that with the Empire Plus, that that would go away. Um, if it didn't, I'd be absolutely surprised. Um, and so I'm going to digress for a moment here as well, down the road of nerve issues. We're not just talking about central nervous system here and uh, brain health and all that. But if we're talking about, um, uh, let, let's take um, uh, trigeminal neuralgia. Um, some of you probably have heard of it. Some of you might not have. It's more of a rare condition but uh, the nerve comes right down here. And uh, that condition will actually generally result in suicide because the pain is so significant uh, that painkillers won't, uh, won't handle it. And uh, people get so tired of living with it. Um, and so <clears throat> we've actually seen, uh, this is back in the day when, when we would recommend a higher dose, but at 15 capsules per day, um, generally the magic number was about two weeks and it would just shut off. It was like an on-off switch. It was either there or it wasn't. And uh, the way that it was put, I, I went and I used to do um, the video work for True Hope many, many years ago. And so I'd go travel around and do video testimonials of people that, uh, that had been helped in one way or another. And there was three people that I interviewed that had, been, that had suffered from trigeminal, trigeminal neuralgia um, that had found out about the Empire Plus. And once one person got well, you know, they're, they're involved in these discussion groups and whatnot. All of a sudden, there's more people taking it. And so <clears throat> there were three people that I went and interviewed and the one guy was um, a mechanic and he says the best way that I could uh, um, um, characterize it, it was like, you know, touching a spark plug and that zap that you get and that was going right through my face. So it's constant, like just firing. And so <clears throat> it's amazing how with nerve issues, you know, so we're not just talking restless leg syndrome here, but other nerve issues how the Empower Plus can correct those uh, entirely. Yeah, the, she commented back, she said the restless legs is causing suicidal thoughts for that patient as well. So definitely an awful thing to be dealing with nerve issues, but that's what Empower Plus was designed for, right? To nourish that whole central nervous system. A um, couple more uh, questions. We're almost at the end, I think. Um, so. Bettina was wondering, going back to um, your support center, are there doctors on staff there or who, who's answering questions and helping to give that advice on tapering and whatnot? Perfect. Good question. So <clears throat> they're not doctors. Um, they, they're trained by us, actually. Um, and obviously, the longer that they're there and the more that they prove successful and help people, the more seniority that they get in relation to dealing with harder cases. Um, but here's the, the interesting thing about it, because that was the, um, the challenge or the issue that Health Canada was 
trying to raise in the courts. And then you have Dr. Charles Popper saying that we're the experts in the field. What's interesting about this is that we actually have a group that's specifically um, there for the purpose of training doctors uh, from around the world, mainly in North America, um, on how to use these protocols. And uh, we used to go to a lot of uh, different conventions that we'd be invited to, um, to, to train and present to doctors. Um, because it's, this is out of their scope. If a doctor came on staff uh, and they were actually um, uh, practicing this, they would actually be outside of their scope of education. Um, they would have to be uh, rediscovering uh, or discovering these, these principles and applying them um, as this is not stuff that's taught within uh, medical school in relation to um, uh, coming off of these medications many times. Yeah, we had uh, the area where I'm located, we had a really great uh, functional medicine doctor who was before his time, um, but was trained as an MD and he had to, um, you know, give give up his ability to uh, have patients come through our provincial um, system and be paid that way because it's they don't consider these things in scope. It's definitely frustrating. The, um, the last question that I see, uh, you mentioned the products being available in Canada, obviously in the United States, are they available in Europe um, and specifically asking about Germany? Okay, so in Germany, I'm not sure if things have changed. Uh, okay, well, I'll, I'll talk about Europe first and then we'll go into Germany. So <clears throat> it all depends on the country. Uh, there's definitely barriers set up. So example, if you're sending it to UK, uh, the tax on it alone is going to be about equivalent to what the cost of the product is itself. So if you order $300 worth of product, you're going to be paying about 600 bucks to have it um, um, made available there. Um, <clears throat> and so there's that issue in relation to, and so every country is going to be different, but Germany, um, the way that it was and probably still is, is in order to get it there, you have to have a prescription from a doctor. That's my understanding as well. Most uh, things are dispensed um, in Germany, you know, even vitamin C is the classic example. Um, and I know, you know, Sean Buckley, so he talks about that um, in relationship to Germany and how Canada is moving more towards that uh, level of regulation with natural health products as well. Um, so maybe uh, something to look into a little more in depth, but I, I think you're right in Germany, it might be a little more trouble than elsewhere. All right, I'll give everyone just one more moment. That was a bunch of good questions. We're just past um, nine Eastern. Uh, I don't see any more typing happening, um, but give it just one more second. All right, just some thank yous coming in for you. So that's good. So this was such a wealth of information shared um, already. Uh, the last, last question that I'll ask you, um, and we'll have this information available along with the replay as well about how to order um, Empower Plus products. Uh, but Melanie's asking, is there a bulk discount? Yes. So as practitioners that are obviously uh, helping other individuals and all that, um, we offer the wholesale uh, discount there. So basically the same thing that, that uh, you know, um, uh, health food stores and naturopathic doctors would get as well. And so that is available. Um, and then, um, on top of that, uh, for anybody that, uh, who is here present or watches this, um, we'll offer a free product. If you do end up ordering, we'll throw a free product in with your order as well, um, for your own personal, uh, use, uh, of whatever, whatever product you, you choose. Um, and so that you get to put it to the test yourself, uh, free of cost there. And so, um, yeah, so that, that's made available. And yeah, that bulk discount or whatever, it's not even really a bulk discount, it's just wholesale pricing is what it is. So, um, but obviously the more that you order, you you know, get free shipping and all that type of stuff, uh, standard business practices there. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So we'll have this, um, this replay available within the group tomorrow and I'll include all of the links and everything that you need um, to access the order forms, um, include the information, how to annotate that you're coming from networking nutritionists to claim that free product as well for your personal use. And then for everyone who did attend live, we're also going to be doing a draw for a gift basket as well um, that contains three of your 
um, three of your products as well with the Empower Plus, the flagship product and the iodine and the inositol, I believe. So really valuable offer there. So I'll announce who has won that um, when we get the replay up tomorrow as well. So this was so much information. Like I said, there's, there's parts I'm gonna go back and rewatch as well um, that I want to know more about. Um, but this was a really, really dense couple of hours of information. So thank you for sharing everything that you did, David. Well, thank you so much for having me and, and, and thank you for what all of you are doing. Um, you know, the most rewarding thing that we can do <clears throat> in relation to uh, the arena that we find ourselves in is to be that tremendous blessing to, to people. And, and the most rewarding part that we get back is that feedback where, you know, people relay um, <clears throat> the impact that we've had in their lives. And so I'm looking forward to hearing, you know, you know, through, through the, uh, the grapevine, um, <clears throat> the effect that you're having on, on people and the feedback that you're getting from them. And you're going to find from time to time that you're going to hear comments like you saved my life or, you know, you saved my marriage or, you know, this has just been the most wonderful thing. Um, <clears throat> or it's like, I've been living in a two-story house, you know, <laughs> my whole life. And I didn't even realize the second story was there until I started taking these supplements. And so, um, it's going to be an amazing thing, uh, to get that kind of feedback for yourselves to validate, uh, you know, the importance that you are in these people's lives. So, you know, thank you so much for what you're doing and being that blessing to humanity. And thank you for being here. And I just hope that, uh, this information has been empowering and that, uh, that it actually translates into, um, your clientele's lives. Absolutely. Thank you again to everyone who's attended and thank you, David. Um, I'll let you all go get on with your evenings. And as I said, all of this information on the replay and the links, um, I'm going to include, you know, the book information and some of those other things that you've mentioned as well. So it's really easily accessible for everyone um, and hopefully get them connected with some of these excellent products. Awesome. All right. You have a great night. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.